Middlesbrough 1-0 Bournemouth. Andres Sporer's penalty secures win. Bournemouth's mid-season wobble threatens to develop into something more damaging after they missed a chance to go top of the championship with their latest tease side no-show. It's six games without a win for Scott Parker's stuttering sight after a second-half penalty from Andrews Sporer proved decisive in continuing Middlesbrough's upward mobility under Chris Wilder. Bournemouth carved out enough chances to win but let themselves down badly in front of goal as they failed to reward their hearty band of travelling fans, some who had set off at 1.15am on the 630-mile round trip from the south coast for the lunchtime kickoff. Not that those dedicated 300 headed north with any confidence of seeing their side return with three points, given that the Cherries remain winless in this part of the world on all 11 visits stretching back 54 years. The hosts took advantage of Bournemouth's wastefulness to boost their playoff push, with a hard-fought victory sealed eight minutes into the second half, when Sporer found the bottom corner from 12 yards after Jaden Anthony brought down the lively Isaiah Jones. The Cherries have taken just six points from a possible 24, and the warning signs were clear early on, as it took them half an hour to fashion an opening of note, although in mitigation they made up for lost time by creating enough clear-cut chances, which should have seen them go in three goals up at the break. The first came courtesy of the hosts, whose penchant for playing out from the back far from instilled confidence. Predictably enough, Johnny Howson directed Paddy McNair's hospital pass to Anthony, who cut into the area, but wastefully sent his angled drive the wrong side of the post. As the visitors gained more of a foothold in the contest, Ryan Christie stood up across from the right to the far post, where Dominic Solanke made the most of the mismatch in height, with his marker Jones, only to head wide from five yards. It was a mistop before the interval by Christie, who lost his marker Neil Taylor at the far post, but was unable to apply what should have been a routine finish in front of an unguarded net, as the Scots miss hit shot bounced into the turf and over the bar. Borough's best two chances bookended a first period high on energy, but low on quality. Inside six minutes, Mark Travers stood firm in the Bournemouth goal to beat out Matt Crook's close range effort from a low Jones centre across the six yard area. As the interval approached, Travers's fingertips prevented Anthony Digsteel's deflected effort from finding the bottom corner from 18 yards. The Cherries keeper was called into action again soon after the break, saving well with his legs from Sporer, but he had little chance when soon afterwards the Slovenian buried his spot kick low to his right for a fourth goal of the season. At the other end, Joel Lumley beat out a junior Stanislas free kick Bournemouth's first effort on target more than an hour into the contest. Travers remained the busier of the two keepers, diverting a first-time effort from Sporer over, as the hosts held on comfortably enough to leave Bournemouth two points behind leaders Fulham, who can extend their